All right, so we're on a, my 98 Malibu. It's got a problem with the ignition here. As you can see it's in the on position. Now, it should be in the off position, but my power is still on and it's not turning off. So we have a problem and hopefully a new one of these will solve. Brand new lock cylinder. The first thing we have to do is disconnect the battery. All right, so disconnect your battery with a 5 16 wrench. Just disconnecting the negative side. Okay, so the next part we got to do, pretend you're stealing a car, pull this part off, throw it aside right there. And now we're gonna pry up this bezel here. One good thing about these GM cars of the 90s is they're very easy to, you know, you just want to get this out of the way. The next step, we got to remove the radio in order to get at this. Okay, so now the next the next step is get a seven millimeter socket and just go ahead and start removing these two bolts that hold your radio in. Uh, it's yeah, it's just fucking plastic. That's all it is. Okay. Okay, so now the second step, you may or may not have to remove this part depending on what tools you have. In my case, I did have to remove it in order to better facilitate getting under here. into that little slot screwdriver there you have it that's how you boost a car so now we got our new one pull this out very slowly that's what the ass end of one of these things look like so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can rotate this thing around in order to do that, you might have to move it around like that a little bit because if it's like this, it ain't going to go in. So go ahead and do that. And there you have it. Make sure she's nice and locked in. And she is. So the next step, let's throw everything back together. And hopefully go from there. So now that these two are back in, Go ahead and get your bezel. Pull your key out first, but get your bezel. Pop it right back in. If this was a Mercedes, this job would take you probably like three hours. And then get your little stealing plug. Place it back in. Now all I have to do is reconnect the battery and we'll be right back. Battery is reconnected. Let's grab our new key. Of course, I fucked with my steering windshield wipers. Now, unfortunately, because this is a newer car, when you do anything with the lock system, you're going to have an anti-theft system that will be activated, preventing you from starting the car. It is now doing the relearn procedure, which is dictated in your instructions. So as long as you follow these word for word, it should take you about 30 minutes to do this. I'll give you guys a very brief rundown of this. Basically, you're supposed to, from the off position, start the car as you normally would. It's not going to start, but it will crank. Go ahead and release the key so it sits into the on position like it is right now. Let it sit there for about 10 minutes or so, and then that little uh, theft system lamp will turn off. Now, essentially, you're going to do the same thing. You'll bring the key back to off, start it up again as you normally would, and let it sit for a little bit so it relearns so it's kind of a pain in the ass to do one of these but it did need to be done unfortunately is there's a 10 minute version and a 30 minute version now i let it sit for 10 minutes in the on position as i just told you guys about turned it completely back to off our lamp is not blinking and there you have it that's $300 my Chevy dealership is not going to get their hands on. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them. Rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, you all stay classy.